book dragons welcome back to my channel it's Alyssa I am going to go over my June wrap-up with you part one so go ahead and get some popcorn get some other snacks settle in this is gonna be a long video because I read all of two books in the month of June I lied there's not a part two this is gonna be a very short video so the first book that I picked up in the month of June is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Farseer trilogy. It follows Fitz from the time he's about six till he's about 15 or 16. He is the illegitimate son of the king in waiting, which is the prince that is going to be king. His family decides that they've had enough of him and drops him off at the castle and he gets taken in. So the story follows his life growing up in the castle, how he ends up becoming roped in with assassins and goes on this quest and this adventure. I do have to say that it's first person point of view. Um, it's present and past tense. So it is someone telling you their story. It's written like someone thinking back on their life and telling you their story and how they got there. But I felt like there was a lot of years focused on him when he's like 10 years old. And I didn't really care, to be honest. I wanted more of when he was older. I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I don't think it's one of my top fantasy books that I've read. I will have to say, um, a spoiler for the book, it would have been a 4 star book for me because it's just such a classic fantasy and reads like a good classic fantasy without all of the problems that can come with classic fantasy. But she kills off two dogs. In this book I'm sorry you kill off a dog you're gonna lose stars for me I can't stand that I feel like part of it is to just kind of get an emotional rise out of you I understand in this book why it happened at the same time don't freaking do that to me I almost didn't finish this book after the second time that she killed off a dog no I just I no. I will never give a book five stars if it kills off a dog. I just won't. And she did it twice. So 3.5 out of five stars. It could have been higher, but I, I don't play with that. That's not okay with me. The second book that I read in the month of June, I was gonna say July, it is July, but in the month of June was The Savior's Champion by Jenna Moresi. I read this for the Book Junkie Trials. Since I'm on Team Mage, I was able to start three days early and I finished it in that time. Part of it was I didn't like what I was reading, so I wanted to get through it as quickly as possible. I didn't want to hang out in this world, I didn't like it, so I'm starting with that. This book follows the main character, Tobias, who through a set of circumstances volunteers for the Savior's Tournament or the Sovereign's Tournament where they basically compete to the death for the hand of the Savior. I wasn't the biggest fan of the writing style to begin with. I don't care if a book curses. I don't care if they're, every other word is a curse word. Um, I have been known to have a bit of a potty mouth myself. So that doesn't bother me when there's cursing in a book. But this just wasn't, the even the cursing in the book wasn't done well. It was random and done in crass ways and like pulled me out of the story because I kept fo like thinking like, why would she word it that way when there's so many other ways that she could have worded it without saying those words? It almost felt like in the writing that she was trying too hard to be dark and gritty and in your face and shock value. I felt like this book was just full of shock value. I just couldn't get behind it. Also, like I understand if they're in a competition, there's going to be deaths, gladiator style competition, which I don't like books like that. Like I had a hard time getting through the Hunger Games because I just don't like when people are pitted against each other in that kind of arena. So I knew I was gonna have a hard time going into this book, but like the first several deaths, it was just so pointless and dumb that again pulled me out of the story I couldn't really 
appreciate the story that she was telling because I just kept going, what the hell? What? What am I reading? Like, why is this happening? I just got to a point in this book where it didn't matter what happened, I just wouldn't like it. That's not to say that you won't like it. I ended up only giving it a three out of five stars, which a three is a good solid rating. I'm not the reader for this book. Every book has its reader, and I am not the reader for this book, but I think a lot of other people would be. So three out of five stars. Check it out if you're into like the gladiator type competitions, if you're into dark gritty fantasy, I think that you would love this book. So those are the books that I read in the month of June. Not a lot. I didn't have a lot of reading time. Finals kind of took over and then when I was done I just didn't want to read. Let me know what books you read in the month of June. If you liked this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to join the Book Dragon family we'd absolutely love to have you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And as always until next time remember to be nice to yourself and be kind to others.